Today we're going to talk about RV life and why we chose it. Exclusive hot new coffee with the Crockers. So why in the world would you want to live in a travel trailer slash RV? Well, the reason why we chose that route is because one, we want to travel in the future. And two, we were building this house for Jared and we needed something to get in almost immediately, but not like super fast because as you know, we we're working on that side and we're working on this side. It's just not room for three adults. And so, of course, Jalen and I want our own house. Jared wants his own house. An RV already has a bathroom and a kitchen and a place to sleep and a table. Has everything ready to go for a fairly cheap price. We were this close to buying a, a work van kind of thing. Oh, yeah. But it was like they made it into an art studio and it was almost like a short bus. Like that's about the size that it was. Then we drove all the way to Louisiana to check out an RV. It was like four and a half hours from here, I think. We got there. It wasn't as good as we thought. So we were just like, oh, man, what are we going to do? Then we checked out a handicap van because it was like a tall van that you can actually stand up in. They actually had like a recliner in there and stuff. Mm -hmm. But it was a guy that his wife was disabled and they bought a new van and they didn't need it. Check that out. It just didn't run that great. And then we just figured, let's get a pull behind RV trailer, travel trailer, so we could park it. But then if we go travel somewhere, we actually have the truck to leave the trailer there and then take the truck to go do whatever we're going to do. With the pull trailer, one thing that we noticed, pretty much out of everything, old and new, the pull trailers are cheaper. Way cheaper because you're not buying something with a motor. It's got wheels, but it doesn't have like a real drive train and all that stuff. So it is way cheaper, way less maintenance. And, and we never have to worry about it breaking down. True. I already have a truck. And so we figured why not just get a small RV? It's 20 foot. It was super easy to pull with our truck. This way, whenever we build our house and we have it, because we're uh, renovating it right now, when we're done with it, either we could sell it and probably make a profit or keep it and we can go camping. There's tons of campgrounds around here and we absolutely love camping. It was a no brainer. Get an RV. It's something that we can keep or sell and make some money. So like we said, we eventually down the road want to travel. We've already, our favorite places that we've already been. Colorado. Colorado and Florida. Yep. Colorado, we went to Denver and then we went up the Rocky Mountains. We literally drove around. Around the, the entire, entire Rocky, Rocky Mountains. Mountains. And then... And we camped at like five different sites. Yeah, that was awesome. We did tent camping. And I love tent camping, but it does take a toll. And we want to take our parents with us and, you know, family and friends. And that gives us more room for, you know, my parents to sleep or whoever. And then an added bonus is if it's here at the house and parked and someone comes over to visit, it's a place for someone to stay if we need it. Then we went to... Panama City Beach, and that was our absolute favorite beach ever, and I've been to a ton of beaches. Yeah, we drove from Texas all the way down the coast into Florida and like all around Florida and back, and Panama City Beach was our absolute number one favorite place to go. It was awesome. So one place that I really, really want to travel to is California. It's overrated as a lot of you know, because a lot of you are from California and you keep asking us how to buy land in Texas. But it's a cool place to visit. I want to go to Alaska. Yeah, that'd be awesome. To wrap this up today, do we think it's worth buying a travel trailer or an RV in your transition stage of moving from a big house to a tiny house? If you're building your tiny house, yes. Yes, because it's a quick transition and it teaches you really, really quick how to live in a small space and what you need and don't need, and then layout. Yeah, what you like, what you don't like as far as layout goes. Yeah, we absolutely love our travel trailer, the size. It's just the, the layout isn't great, but we understand why it's laid out the way it is. We just wouldn't do it that way because of personal preference. But it gave us a lot to think about for our tiny house that we're going to build. So let us know in the comment section below if you had the opportunity to travel anywhere you wanted to, where would you like to go? Or where have you already traveled? Do you have an RV? Do you want an RV? Have you thought about doing shed to house but you're scared to jump into it because it might be small? An RV might be your best bet to get in. You can even rent them for like a week and figure it out if that's something you like. So we got one more Coffee with the Crockers this week, tomorrow. And then I think since we did a whole week of it to get you guys interested, please comment below and let us know if once a day is too many. We're thinking of maybe doing it once a week. Making it a little bit longer, but not too lengthy. 
Yeah, and we'll just do it like on the weekend or something. And we would love for you guys to give us suggestions on things to talk about, like certain topics each week. And so I think that would be a great idea. Yeah, so please let us know. And we hope to see you later on in our vlog. It's going to be an interesting one. We're going to check out some crazy stuff. So we'll see you later today. Just remember, any time is a great time for a coffee break. We'll see you tomorrow.